Hey everybody, welcome to NAM. It's Greg Bissonette. We're here at MikeDolbear.com at the Dixon booth with my great friend and product manager for Dixon, Jim Uting. Hey Greg. Hey Jim. Thanks for putting us on camera here and letting us talk about Dixon. I've got a new signature drum set here, the Signature Tour Kit. Seafoam green sparkle, really thin maple shells. Great kit. This tour kit sounds so great. We're about to go out on another tour with Ringo and the All-Star Band uh, of South America, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, all over the place. And we're ending in Las Vegas. But this tour kit, we just love it. The house front sound guy loves it. Jeff Chonis, Ringo's drum tech, loves it. And uh, this is the, tour, the kit we've had out all summer, all fall, and we're going out again this spring. Over here, we've got two signature snare drums, the hammered brass with black nickel, signature snare here, and the same version, but the steel version. And I'm gonna pass it over to Jim to let him tell you a little bit more too. Well, cool. Thanks, Greg. You bet, Jim. Well, you know, we're not even a year into this relationship, and uh, as a sign of, of Dixon's momentum and, and innovation, uh, in fact, Craig's relationship with us, this early relationship, is, is a good example of that. In fact, when, when, when you came aboard, uh, it was our maple core shell that, that, that attracted your attention. That's exactly right. But this was in April, and you needed drums by the end of June to go out with your man. For the Ringo, Ringo Tour, for the drum channel. For, exactly. Yeah. But in town. our standard shell was a little thick for your taste. That's right. That's so right. we worked together and came up with a four ply, four millimeter maple shell, no reinforcement hoops, that we call Artisan Ultra Maple. So not only did we, this will fit on your head. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> maybe not with the nose. Bucket head. Let's, let's, let's test that one. Okay. <laughs> Well, anyway, so we had a little, very little time to not only put his shell recommendation or suggestion together, but also the color, seafoam green sparkle. So anybody can get the new ultra maple shell, but you can only get seafoam green on Greg's configuration. So then after this was locked down and getting all kinds of great feedback from the road. Right, yep. everybody loved it. We I moved on it. to the snare drums and the snare drums were more focused on, on studio work. Right because the matching snare worked for tour. Perfect for the Great. tour. Great. So, so as Greg asked for uh, some versatility in the studio, we worked on hammered brass for one sound, but a same size in just flat steel to give you a, a, a second choice. A second choice, other sounds. Right, other. exactly. And not necessarily uh, a different drum altogether, same size. Same size. You need them tuned differently, but why have multiple sounds of the same drum? That's so right. A lot of times producers will say, well, that sounds great. Let's hear another snare. Well, wait, this snare, you can tune it a lot of different ways. Well, what else you got? I mean, they just say that all the time. So I'll pull up this thing. I've got this one just cranked. Kink, kink. Maybe this one's a little different tone. We'll pull up the second snare. Oh, that's a totally different sound. Well, it's not totally different, but it's different. But tuning is everything. So what we did is we took Greg's needs and also shaped it into two different price points. Because Greg does, as everybody knows, does great clinics around the world for all sorts of drummers. So we had to make sure that any drummer who wanted to capture or own his sound could, could afford it and do so. Can we talk map or no? Yes, of course. 279, 279 and 499. And 499. And also not pounds. <laughs> The other feature that you asked for yeah, the, was the... I've always wanted an adjustable butt plate. <laughs> and now I've got an adjustable butt plate on both of the butts. Right. And you say, why, why, Greg, an adjustable butt plate? Well, in the studio, lots going on. You tinker with the sound of the, of the tension of the wires. You may not have both hands free. Right. So you'd be able to adjust from both sides. Yeah. You never know when you can... So both drums feature the adjustment from both sides. Guys, MikeDolbear.com. I am honored to be a personal friend of Mike Dolbear and MikeDolbear.com. And I just want to say, hey, Mike, you're doing a heck of a job. Keep up the great work because drummers of the world are benefiting from you guys. And thanks for visiting Dixon. Thank you for visiting Dixon.